Hey everybody, it's Peter here with another GoodEreader.com video. Today we have the BlackBerry Q5, and what we're going to do is show you guys the PDF experience on this brand new phone. Now it is, <clears throat> this is an August 2013 release. Um, this ha device has been released in specific markets like Southeast Asia, um, Dubai, India, certain places like that. It's not available widely anywhere just yet. So we're going to show you guys the PDF experience. We're going to start with uh, Adobe Reader. This is the stock app that has been installed. And we're going to go through three things. Monster Manual by D&D. Max Payne After the Fall, a PDF uh, we've acquired that we're going to show you a comic book of. And the World Newspaper. So we're going to start with the Dungeons & Dragons Monsters Manual. Now the screen is very small, it's almost a square, so it's almost one to one ratio, but I think it's still, um, I think it's still advertised as a four by three. We'll just do some simple gestures here. So you can pinch and zoom to get to that sweet spot. The resolution is quite good, so it's not really going to pose that much of a problem, but I definitely wouldn't host uh, Dungeons and Dragons Night. Um, with this phone because it's really hard to see so there we have some options here like um, uh, Unlike what we've seen on most other um, Devices we have annotation bar text reflow find share single page We're gonna start with annotation bar what this is is you have notes highlights strikeouts text and draw so we can actually uh, Tap anywhere on the page and make a note. Hi. So we're going to save that note. So we now have, you see, we now have a note there. What we can also do, and please excuse the uh, my hands getting in the way. This is a very small screen. We can also make highlights. Drag over text to highlight. So we're going to drag over that. And you can see that now we have made a yellow highlight. And then once you tap that highlight, you can do certain things like change the color. Change the intensity, maybe box it, and you can delete it all together. We also have this thing right here, which we're going to get a closer look at. Strike out. Draw over text to strike out, so you can strike that out. This is great for um, grading papers or even going over um, certain uh, school, text, school text assignments, because you can strike things out that have no uh, meaning or purpose. You also have underline. So, as you can see there, we have underlines and strikeouts. Now this one is very, very cool. Draw. You can actually draw on here. Now we've only seen this on, like, very few devices have these kind of, uh, this kind of, um, uh, functionality right out of the box. You usually have to download outside third-party apps to get this kind of thing, but this is actually really cool how you can just draw right on the page. So, say you wanted to outline this guy's specs, you'd be like right there. That's the one to look at. And then that'll be on there for when you look at it later. Your notes, your highlights, your underlines, your strike counts, and so forth. So other than that, it's got really good, really good responsiveness Screen is very small. Once again, I'm going to say that about four or five times because it is very small. But let's move on to another um, PDF, Max Payne After the Fall. We'll look at this. So this is a comic book. Let's get to a page with some color and let's pinch and zoom to make it bigger. Oh, we have to go to single page because I think we were in uh, reflow mode for sure. Yeah, we'll show you reflow mode afterwards. So you can see that you can pinch and zoom to find that sweet spot. Now, because this isn't running Comixology or anything, you can't tap a frame to view that frame. You're just going to do more of a zoom in. So double tapping does not pose the same functionality as Comixology or Marvel or anything like that. You also have text reflow, which is pretty much the same thing. Not recommended for um, comics because basically it can't find the text to reflow at all because it's mostly images. So I would advise against that. Keep it on single page. 
but it's very good it's surprisingly smooth and high quality but remember the screen is really small once again so you're gonna have a lot of problems um, really seeing comic books and it's not really portrait or landscape it's just a square so not ideal for comic books definitely but it can do it so this is just to show you that it can indeed do it last thing we're gonna look at is world newspaper so this is a newspaper and now we're gonna show you guys the text reflow what this does is turns it into almost like an ebook oh. you can see here that it's uh, justified all the text to the side of the screen to the left and it gives you little paragraphs so this is kind of useful um, a lot of the time it does get a little screwy with titles and um, subtitles and all that like you can see right here one line of text one or two lines got stuck at the very top because it couldn't fit on the page still wouldn't really recommend that unless you really had to I would pretty much recommend scrolling column by column kinda like this and once again you actually can still do and remember this is this is uh, based on the PDF um, reader app which is Adobe it has nothing to do with the individual file you can draw on any PDF you load and you can do all those fun stuff like strikeouts and highlights and take notes and all that kind of stuff and look at that it's pretty cool I, li I like I, I like it um, I don't like the phone itself for reading PDFs obviously I wouldn't buy this to say hey I have a whole bunch of textbooks I want to load on my next device should I buy a Q5 no absolutely not this is just to show you that when you do have a Q5 and somebody does give you a PDF you can utilize the PDFs on this device comfortably and you don't need Blackberry link to drag and drop these onto your device because all we did was plugged it in via our micro USB port and we drag and dropped the uh, PDF files into the documents folder and that is what gave us um, this kind of list here of PDFs and also we have getting started with Adobe that will actually show you how to use it so if you want to find out how to do this on your own you can actually just read this little tutorial here so this has just been the PDF experience on the BlackBerry Q5 for more information on the Q5 and upcoming videos and full reviews and so much more on it, you can go to youtube.com slash goodyreader or you can go to our website goodyreader.com for the latest reviews, news, previews, interviews, and event coverage on everything e-readers, tablets, and digital publishing related. And for the PDF experience, BlackBerry Q5, this is Peter.